Hi traders and welcome to the technical analysis market watch on Friday the 16th of February. So I've seen a very, very big action-packed week this week. We've seen rises and falls like a roller coaster, but all of our levels that we talked about last week were hit. So we'll jump straight into the analysis and see if we can identify any trades for today or early into next week. All right, so we'll start out here with the Aussie USD, and you can see that we had a big, big fall from our previous touch of last week. It got all the way down to that 64.50, which is a target we were really going for. I've moved that line now, but you can see that 64.50 line was right on the um, resistance right through here. You can see all of these important peaks that were touched there that were going to give it the support that it needed. Look, it's rebounded a little bit now, and it is trying to get above there again, but the reality is we're still in a downtrend. Yeah, yeah that is very, very obvious. We've got a series of lower highs and lower lows on a very big time frame and this is the daily of course so realistically it's getting up to the level where it could find um, resistance again around that 65 30 to 50 level it's all a bit of resistance right through that point where that green line is so look out for a potential reversal point from there in my mind we can't be looking at going longer on this one until it's above that 20 moving average and above that level so unless it's trading above the 65 and a half cent mark we really want to be probably looking for shorting opportunities uh and if we get a little bit more of a move up to the 20 moving average as well that might be a good rollover zone although we have seen this kick off over the last couple of days just be mindful that we are still in a solid downtrend so in order to break that cycle, we need to see price trading above the 20 moving average and above that 65 and a half cent mark, which is most important. Uh, failing that, the easy target's going to be the 6450 uh, marker again. If we roll over from this point onwards, look for shorting opportunities down to that 6450. Now that it's tested it, um, yeah, there's a reasonable chance you can get down there again relatively quickly. So yeah, keep an eye on that one and it should be good trading, but hopefully you're able to catch some of that because it was a pretty good move. All right, over to the US dollar CAD now, and here we have a similar scenario in the sense that we're still in a definitely a longer term uptrend. We've pulled all the way back to the 20 and the 50 moving average, as you can see through here. The only thing that worries me about the CAD is that we've, yes, we are getting new higher highs and higher lows. There's no question about that. But the higher lows and the higher highs are not as distinctive as they would ideally be in a very very strong trend you can see that the previous um peak here is only just below this peak here and this one here was only just slightly above the previous peak so although it is grinding its way up to uh, a reasonable level around that 136 area it's it's doing that under duress it's not really uh, blowing the lights out in terms of aggressive movement and you know the pullbacks are relatively deep as well so yes we are still in an uptrend but i tell you what it, it would want to be surviving at, at these moving averages because if the 20 and the 50 don't hold it here and they are all but crossed you got to remember yeah you know, the 20 and the 50 here are literally about to cross so just bear that in mind when you're doing your analysis that if this doesn't hold here from a uh, support standpoint and you can see we've got very strong support right through this area here as well um it's it could be uh, a signal that maybe this little mini uptrend is about to end and fail so the momentum may well shift so just be a little bit careful around here but support uh, is where it's at right now. There's no question about that. Uh, and look for a potential um, yeah, move up. And if it does, uh, a series of higher highs and higher lows in a smaller time frame, look for an opportunity to get back up to that sort of 135.50 in the first instance. I'll see how that one goes. All right, over to the US dollar yen. And yeah, this one hit our target of the uh, 150 very relatively easily, actually blasted uh, straight past it as it often does. The yen is a bit of a machine at the moment. Look, it, you, know, you don't want to be really regretting any moves that you've left. Um, if you've taken the 150 profit, which is where you would have been looking at, this is where we were looking at last week, it was, yeah, gen, there was a really, really high possibility it was going to get there. So there's no real surprises there. Um, it's gone up above it and it's testing it from above now, which is, you know, should be a good level of support. It's been there before. It's done it before. I think now if we get any form of uh, role reversal, so if we start to see a series of higher highs, and higher lows on a smaller time frame, I'd be looking for an opportunity back up to, at the very least, um, the one the 150 sort of 80 ish area 151 that would be the first target but a break of that level and the next obvious target is going to be that 151 sort of 50 area around this level here so any sign of a series of high highs and high lows in a smaller time frame and look potentially continue that trend up to that one 50 80 in the first instance get a few pips out of that um 
in terms of a short, if it rolls over here and fails to make a new high, the 20 moving average or this 148.50 zone would be the target that I'd be looking for if we start to see a bit of a momentum shift on the way down. All right, over to the dollar index, and uh, it did everything we needed to do as well. Came back, touched a 20 moving average, went all the way up to the 105, which was great. Look, it's definitely still in an uptrend. There's no question about that. Higher, high, higher, low sequences everywhere you look. So all it's doing is finding itself a bit of support at this level here. It's very important now, though, that it needs to actually maintain the momentum that has kicked in all this time. So realistically, a trade that obviously the euro is the trade we're going to be looking at. We'll go to that in a moment. But yeah, the idea now would be that it would either get back up to the 105, which is a reasonable expectation, or it may fail at this point here at the support level, at which point it might get back down all the way to the 104, which would be roughly where the 20 moving average is. Now, both of them are viable trades, but I think I'd generally err on the side of momentum. And if the momentum is pretty strong on the way up, I'd rather stick with with that potential the euro of course is the one we'd want to trade there series of lower highs and lower lows all the way down got to our level of 107 flat which is great i know a lot of people got that um, so that was really really good a big opportunity it was actually now it's basically trying to grind its way back up but the moving average has got a lot of traffic in front of it there's yeah resistance everywhere you look you've got the 20 moving average as well and these all these uh, peaks here of resistance is going to give it problems at around that 107.80 to 108 mark just be really careful there okay so just yeah, the idea would be that you want to make sure that the trend is broken, well and truly broken, the downtrend before you start getting involved. And in my mind, it needs to get above the 20 moving average and, and the 108 level before I start looking at long opportunities on the Euro USD. So it needs to get above here. It needs to make a high, 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 low sequence, obviously, on a meaningful time frame, like potentially the four hour or something like that. But most importantly, the daily needs to be trading above the 20 moving average and above that 108 level. If it's doing that, then we look at it with a, a fresh uh, set of eyes and we look for the potential targets ahead of us. But right now, it's still in a downtrend. And although this has been a bit of a retracement, the obvious trade to the downside, if it does start to kick momentum in on the way down, would be to around that 107 level first. And once that breaks, if it does break, then we're going to be looking at yeah, yeah good moves really uh, yeah potentially all the way down to the 106 and 105 mark so very very important zone for the euro but really good trading and I'm, i know a lot of people got that trade so that's fantastic and of course the s p 500 look it is all but trying to make another high again big sell-off earlier in the week because of the cpi data of course being uh not as friendly to the inflation story as one would have hoped but again it's, it's rebounded very quickly obviously it's only taken two days to get back basically where it was before it fell over just be mindful that this is an all-time high uh it is approaching that 50 50 level again very it's very very close to it it's a it's a dangerous level to get involved in longs okay so just be really careful if you're going to scalp it uh just keep your, your stop losses relatively tight on these ones because the um yeah, the moves when they do go aggressively against you can be quite significant when they actually sell off from high points. So just be really careful here. Trade what we see. Look, if we're trading above this level on Monday, we're obviously going to have to look at it again. We've got important data again coming out this week. We've still got a few more um, data sets to come out that are going to determine where we're really going to be trading. But if we get a weekly close at an absolute all-time high, um, then we might see a bit more momentum kick in uh, next week and we could get some scalping opportunities, uh, maybe up to 5,100. But it's un uncharted territory of course so we don't really know if it rolls over though the 20 moving average is an obvious target and around that 90 uh, the 49.50 marker would be my target there and if it does that and breaks the 20 moving average then we're going to look at some yeah you know, some reasonable moves back down to hopefully 4800 which would be a great reload zone potentially if we get a turnaround there a good level of support so i've had a great week's trading we've had some really really good opportunities i know a lot of people have got some really good trades in so well done on that when in, when levels are getting hit um you know and you you do get out of them it op opens up more opportunities obviously because these levels are really reversing to um the other side of the spectrum so have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to seeing you all next week where hopefully we'll get some more momentum continuing from these levels.